We finish with action from the Chinese Basketball Association where the Xinjiang Flying Tigers shocked the Liaoning Leopards 109 to 87 in Changchun to end their 10 game winning streak and hand the league leaders just their third loss in 25 outings this season. Xinjiang start quickly. Chi Lin sinks one of his five triples to increase their early lead to six. Abdul Salam Abdul Rashid later misses a close range jumper, but Arnett Moultrie is there to get the put back and one. The Flying Tigers continue to dominate as Arslan Adil Jan finds Chi for another three on his way to 23 points. Guo Ailun sinks a jumper for Liaoning, but the league leaders are on their way to their first loss with him in the lineup this season. In the third quarter, Zhang Jianlin lands on Abdul Salam's foot after trying to block his layup. The Leopards forward leaves with an ankle injury, which it luckily is not too serious. Xinjiang's Lut Hula is unable to finish this fast break, but Moultrie adds to his 30 points and 19 rebounds. And the Flying Tigers continue to pull away as Abdul Salam drives in for a couple of his 27 points before another three-pointer from Chi pushes their lead back to 30. Chi continues to fire away in the final minute to close out Xinjiang's 22-point thrashing of Liaoning, but Yang Ming's side stay at the top of the standings, while Adil Jan Suleiman's men are 13th. In other games, Shandong beat Ningbo, Zhejiang crushed Jiangsu, Jared Sullinger's 30 points and 16 rebounds led Shenzhen past Shanghai and knocked the Sharks out of second place in coach Li Chunjiang's return from suspension. While Stefan Marbury fared better in his first game coaching since Bei, coaching Bei Kong, that is, since his spat with Li as the Royal Fighters beat Guangzhou in double overtime, led by rookie Liao Sanning's season-high 30 points.